Good afternoon. I'm going to show you this little container here is filled with plastic pieces. I found a whole bunch of these today. I was in my one of my kitchen junk drawers, I guess, or a utensil drawer. Let's call it a utensil drawer. Junk drawer. That just sounds so awful. <laughs> but um, I found a whole mess of these. You know, these are the uh, the groupers. I call them groupers for bread loaves of bread. Bread loaves that you buy at the grocery store. They have expiration dates on them. And obviously for the bread, not for these tags here. And these I use... I learned this a long, long time ago. This was not from any YouTube video I watched, but just common sense, I guess, where... I have one. Just a minute. Uh, I have one right here on for my masking tape. And it keeps it from keeps the tape from sticking to itself because everybody knows how much a pain in the neck it is to peel try and peel that off and it's just and with duct tape it's especially bad with duct tape because it it wrinkles and then you have to cut off that piece so this way you don't have to cut off that piece although I might want to trim that so that's uh, that's that one. I usually put it with the label or the printed part um, back there instead of on the tape. I'm always afraid the tape's going to pull off that text, that printed text. So that's what it's good for. And I also have it for, I make these pieces, the plastic pieces. These plastic ones, maybe this one might be good. These these narrower ones might be good for washi tape rolls. These are too wide, I think, for washi tape rolls. So, uh, one small moment in my life I decided to invest in washi tape rolls. So that's just half of this box that I'm showing you. <laughs> and I have, I have more. I have these uh, washi tape dispensers. But here what I did was I took like for this one, for example, I took uh, a white one and I cut it in half and I used it for the washi tape, like, like that. And when I can't find those tabs, like I just had them in the drawer, they were just sitting in the drawer, scattered about, and I thought, well, what the heck, I need to, you know, gather all these together and throw them in this container. And then in this container also, I have these plastic plastic ones. They don't have any text on them. And then at the bottom I have uh, pressed together pieces of duct tape that also I was using for duct tape tabs. And that um, that's very sticky on the duct tape. So I thought, well, maybe that's not such a good idea. Although these would be good maybe for masking tape. So I also I have a um, half of one here for another washi tape roll. So I have a whole whole mess of these tabs, but I just wanted to to show you that when I can't find these tabs, I'm like, I know I have a bunch of them. I make them. So uh, whether you make them or uh, or you save those grouper grouper tabs or whatever they're, they're, they're tab, they're tape tabs so this is this is what I use and it starts out like this this is a crystal light container, it contains five or six of these packets, this is raspberry green tea and what I do is when this one's empty I just I remove the, the wrapper and I save these containers. That one becomes this one. And then I just took one of these and I cut it apart, cut it down. Uh, these are very useful for making pencil pencil holders. So 
Uh, and then I have this, and this has been sitting in my cutlery drawer. drawer. Blah, can't talk today. And it's taking up space, so I'm going to take this heavy-duty pair of scissors that I have. So it just it's just for this. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut it this way. And once again, it's not necessary to cut a straight line because I'm just gonna use them for a tape tab. Then. I actually like it when it's curved a little bit, especially for the duct tape. Because for the duct tape, then it uh, and I I put it on this way instead of this way. So you would think normally put it on this way because it would just lay right there perfectly on the roll. But I like to do it the other way. Why be normal? So I'm just gonna I'm gonna cut. Also for washi tape, a couple of small ones, some wider ones, different sized tape tabs, and then now I do have to, I can't use these scissors for very long because they do tend to hurt my hand a little bit. Um, makes my hand a little achy. And so what's good for an achy hand other than to stop cutting? I'm going to tell you. I use uh, essential oils for a variety of um, what's the word? For a variety of ailments I guess or a variety of purposes. One of them, uh, one of the essential oils I use a lot is rosemary essential oil, and I put it in, oops, I don't need that one, I put it in hand cream, and it's very, very good, it's mixed in fragrance-free hand cream, it's very good for aches, pains, uh, joint pain, muscle pain, arthritis, it's very good for arthritis. I have like a little bit of arthritis right here, uh, right in my thumb area on my left hand. And the, the rosemary cream is very, very good for that. It's better than turmeric cream. So I've been putting turmeric essential oil in hand cream and I discovered that the rosemary cream actually works better, lasts longer than the turmeric cream. So there you have it. Okay, on that note, on that note, I always say on that note, <clears throat> maybe that's my closing statement. On that note, have a wonderful day.